Hello and welcome to a new video from Cloud Media in which we are going to introduce our new Part of the Day series for 2025. This is a range of popular books that make ideal Christmas gifts for yourself or any puzzle lover uh, among your friends or family, whether it's your BFF, your mum, your dad, Uncle Johnny, Auntie Sally or anyone else in the family. There's a large range of books in the series and we've linked to some of these in the YouTube description so please do take a look there and if you'd like to help support the channel then please consider buying favourites either for yourself or as a gift for a friend or family member. So each book in this series follows the puzzle a day format and has a daily puzzle for every day of 2025 and um, so that's 365 in total plus a bonus for the 1st of January 2026 and each puzzle is listed with the date and the puzzle. So if you're a fan of a particular puzzle type or know someone who is, then hopefully this series will appeal to you. Books in the series include a book of crosswords, a book of code words, a book of crisscross, Sudoku, number cross, word search, word wheels, a quiz a day book, um, and lots of other books too. Uh, and we'll uh, include a link to the full series at the bottom uh, of the YouTube description. So in this video, I just wanted to show you a few of the books just to give you a quick idea of how they work, what they look like and uh, hopefully it will pique your interest. So without further ado, let's start with the Crossword of the Day book, um, which was just off camera there. So the Crossword of the Day book contains, like all the books in the series, a daily puzzle um, for every day of the year in 2025, um, with two puzzles per page, which is the format of the majority of the, the books in the series. Um, so if we look at the first puzzle, um, I don't know if it comes out on camera, but you can see for Wednesday, January the 1st, 2025, the first clue across is you might drink this to celebrate the start of 2025. And you have to champagne and two down is old Lan Syne, traditional son, son at this time of the year. Um, so a few of the puzzles in the book do have a um, little themed element that relates to the day um, of the year, for instance, at Christmas and New Year. Uh, and I think Valentine's Day as well. Um, so the book follows the format of two puzzles per day throughout the year. So that makes it quite a big chunky book in total. Um, in fact, I think it's, I can tell you it's 210 pages this one. So they're all about that sort of length. Um, so this is great value if you enjoy quick crossword puzzles, British style grids. So it is aimed at the kind of British, uh, Australian, maybe Canadian solver, less so Americans, just because you have a different grid style in the US as all our US viewers will know. Um, and then at the back of each of the books, of course, we do have these solutions. So if you get stuck at any point or just want to look up a, an answer um, or check your solution, then it's easy to do so at the back of the book. Um, next one I'm going to look at is the Code Word of the Day book. Um, if you've not come across a Code Word puzzle before, um, then they might look a little bit strange. Um, but it's basically a crossword puzzle, um, and again, I hope this comes out okay on camera, where there's a number in every square of the grid, and the numbers range from 1 to 26, and each number references a different letter of the alphabet from A to Z. So, for instance, in this puzzle, every instance of 10, you would need to write in an A, 23 is C, and 21 is L. So you kind of start off solving by going through the grid, finding each of those instances of the letters, writing them in, um, and then trying to work out which words go where in the grid and which uh, letters are represented by each of the numbers in the grid. So all 26 letters of the alphabet from A to Z appear at least once. Um, this puzzle takes a little bit of getting used to, but it has quite a lot of devoted fans, I think particularly in the UK, who really love the kind of challenge to their vocabulary and pattern matching, pattern finding skills. Um, and it also has subtle depth to it. There's a lot of interest in Kind of rules that you find you can use over time looking at letter patterns and number patterns um, to solve these puzzles. Um, so this book again contains a puzzle for each and every day of 2025 um, all the way through to the final puzzles here um, which wraps you through to the 1st of January 2026 as you can just see there at the corner of the camera screen and again solutions are included at the back of the book. Um, the final one I wanted to show you just for now is the Mixed Puzzle a Day book. Um, that's because whilst most of the books in the series focus on a single puzzle type, 
and people who love that puzzle type, we do have a few books that contain a mix of different puzzles. This, of course, is one being called Mixed Puzzle a Day, as the uh, name on the cover makes clear. Uh, and we also have a book of, for instance, Sudoku Variant that contains lots of different types of Sudoku Variant for people who perhaps enjoy playing Sudoku but are looking for something a bit different and a mix of different puzzle types. Um, so this particular book contains um, code words, word finders, mind sweepers, rectangles, number squares, noughts and crosses, Sudoku, find some, word search on word wheel puzzles. Um, and if any of those are unfamiliar, then you can see there's instructions here to the different puzzle types at the beginning. Um, and so code words are what we've just looked at in the previous book, a word finder puzzle. Um, in this puzzle, you have to use the black squares and the gray squares to work out which one word we're thinking of. Um, that one word doesn't repeat any letters, and there's only one word that can be made. Minesweeper puzzles, a nice logic puzzle. Rectangles, uh, another logic puzzle where you need to divide the grid into different shapes. We have number squares, which is a maths puzzle, placing one to nine in the grid. Noughts and crosses, which is a logic puzzle where you can't have the same symbol more than twice in each row or column. And you need to have five zeros and five X's in each row and column. We have our classic Sudoku puzzles, a find a sum puzzle, which is another maths challenge. Challenging you to find the three numbers that sum up in this instance to 49. Word search puzzles, which I'm sure will be familiar. And then a word wheel, which is another very popular puzzle where you need to find the word that uses all the different letters around the wheel um, and as many other words as you can. And then it repeats. Um, so this is an example of one of the um, puzzle books in the series that does contain different puzzle types. And again, a great gift for anyone who just likes puzzles in general. They're all kind of aimed at your mass market general solver. Um, so that you know you don't need any particular expertise. Um, just people who enjoy solving puzzles in newspapers, magazines, and books, that kind of thing, is the target audience for um, the 2025 puzzle series. And again, then we have the solutions at the back of the book. In this case, of course, it's mixed puzzle books, so it's mixed solutions. Um, and then at the back of the book, we do just have an advert for some other books in the series. So. Here you can see a few of the others. Arrow word a day, uh, code word and crossword that we've seen in the mixed puzzle of the day. Crisscross a day, quiz of the day, which is great for people who obviously enjoy quizzes. That contains five quiz questions um, each and every day of the year. Uh, Sudoku a day, word search a day, and a word wheel a day. Okay, well that completes our um, introduction to the 2025 puzzle of the day series. Um, here's three other books in all their glory. Um, so I hope you found that video useful um, and interesting. Um, if you were thinking about buying a, a book in this series, then of course, we'd be extremely grateful um, if you did so. And uh, all that remains to say is I hope you have a great rest of 2024 and have a fantastic 2025. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.